Jack provides very few pictures from the retrieval. And Jack says he can't recall if he took more pictures. And Jack wipes all the dates from the metadata of the pictures from the retrieval. Jack has one uncut video from the New Mexico Tourism Board. He received that via a records request. He explains in the description that the request was fulfilled in February of 2019. But one can request records from Jack's records request in February 2019 was not true. According to the Records Act request response, Jack actually received the uncut New Mexico video in April of 2019. In less than a week of Jack receiving the video, Jack gets on a plane and heads to Yellowstone via Colorado Springs. On the same day that Jack arrives in Yellowstone, Paco is arrested yet again for stalking Forrest's granddaughter. The next day, while Jack was in Yellowstone, he posts, the best way in his experience to get a response from Forrest is to provide photos. The very next day, Jack writes an extensive post what to do if you find the chest on Reddit while in Yellowstone. Jack then immediately drives from Yellowstone to Santa Fe, New Mexico. The next day, Jack arrives in Santa Fe. Let's recap these 10 days in April 2019. On April 15th, Jack receives the unedited New Mexico tourism video. On April 20th and 22nd, Paco breaks into Forest Home, violating his probation, and then is arrested on the 22nd for this violation. On April 22nd, Jack arrives in Yellowstone. On the 23rd, Jack posts the best way in his experience to get a response from Forrest is to provide photos. The very next day, Jack writes an extensive what to do if you find the treasure chest post. Then he leaves Yellowstone and heads directly to Santa Fe. Jack arrives in Santa Fe on April 25th. Jack has never publicly spoken about his April 2019 trip to Santa Fe. What comes next? August and October, Jack travels to Yellowstone again. And what happens next, Jack and Forrest tells us a lot in each of their social media campaigns. Let's review those now. Let's start with what we are hearing from Jack at this time. Jack moves his discussions from searching and the solution to find the treasure chest to after you find the treasure chest with posts such as capital gains, legal issues, treasure troves, the IRS, short-term capital gains, lawyers, is this a contest? What's the liability? Or is it an art collection? All the legal issues, the IRS, taxes. 
the tone of his posts shift from before you discover the treasure chest to now that you have it and all of the consequences of owning it. Let's go over a few of his actual posts. Jack Post, you can now be held liable for the deaths of the people looking for the chest if people keep looking for it and you don't announce it's found. Jack recommends the finder to move to Puerto Rico, leave the chest, and then come back for it to avoid taxes on the treasure chest. Here's some other highlights. Those last two were from September. Now let's look at October. Jack says Forrest didn't set up the hunt legally to avoid legal and tax implications. Jack says Forrest created a legal and tax shit show. Jack says, don't believe Forrest when he says he thought of everything. The tone is definitely changing. So those were the posts from October. So let's look at November and December. Jack says, you need to get explicit permission and instructions from Forrest before retrieving the chest. Jack says, this is a can of worms with the IRS. And finally, Jack says, look at the scrapbook where Fenn had hid information about the legal issues for the lead searcher himself. At that same time, let's look to see what Jack was doing. Jack applied for tax exemption status in Puerto Rico in late September 2019. Now we get into the deep of winter and let's look at the next set of circumstances and events that paint the picture of what Forrest was dealing with. It seems Jack's tone changes by Forrest by the end of the year. Jack says, the law of the land is not however Forrest Fenn is concerned. Jack says, Forrest wants us to ignore the law and be a maverick. Jack says, I don't believe Forrest when he said he thought of everything. Jack says, what if Forrest put the chest recklessly in a national park? Jack then permanently moves to Puerto Rico in December of 2019. If we believe Jack, which I do, Jack relocates to Puerto Rico with official documents showing he filed for tax status in Puerto Rico six months before the treasure chest was retrieved. Would you relocate to another country without having seen the treasure chest? Jack must have been very confident he would own the treasure chest to relocate to another country beforehand. Jack says there are messages in scrapbooks and Forrest is making up lies. Quote, Forrest makes up lies about friends so he can hide information in scrapbooks. Just after scrapbook 250 came out, the recent scrapbook when Jack stated that there were aberrations and lies. Was Jack correct that Forrest was sending him a hidden message? Let's analyze this scrapbook. Scrapbook 214, October 2019, The John Ehrlichman Saga. I've left the entire text of the scrapbook in but the pertinent points, quote, Forrest, you're going to be sued for a hundred million dollars. Later in the scrapbook, two paragraphs later, I had made a mistake by publishing the book. Will you indemnify me for any losses? No, with a halting abruptness. 
put a hold on the project until we could find out where we stood. And he ends it with, my liability was gone. In December of 19, Cynthia Meacham went to interview Forrest about Forrest's book, Artie. She puts out a YouTube movie on, in January 12th, where she discloses Forrest told her there will be a lot of surprises coming out next year. In January of 2020, Jack receives approval from Puerto Rico for tax exemption status. At that same time, in December 2019, Forrest asked Dale his thoughts on ending the chase. Forrest didn't only want the chase ended, he wanted it ended before the next search season. Let's summarize the end of 2019. In September, Jack applies for Puerto Rican tax status. In October, Jack says Forrest left the finder a shit show. Later in October, Jack says Forrest lies and sends direct messages to him in scrapbooks. December of 2019, Jack relocates to Puerto Rico. In late December 2019, Forrest tells Cynthia there will be big surprises coming in 2020. And finally, Forrest discusses with Dale calling off the chase for good before the end, before the beginning of the next search season. As we move into 2020, things go from bad to worse. January of 2020, a searcher is rescued and then arrested for repelling and searching in Yellowstone Canyon. Forrest immediately puts out a scrapbook, scrapbook 248. He specifically discounts an area which he has never done before where this searcher who had just been arrested was searching. I promised myself I would never trek into the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone River again, and I have it. Scrapbook 249. Forrest ends the scrapbook. Come on, Willie, let's go. Yet another searcher dies, March 21st, 2020. Boris has now gone from patient to angry and fires off a new scrapbook, March 23rd, 2020. Scrapbook 250 was all about searcher safety and a message to the finder. At the end of scrapbook 250, Forrest refers to Willie, his dog, as being a little retarded. A direct message to Jack. How's that a message to Jack? Jack Stoof is quoted on, quote, what is he dreaming about? Nothing, he's retarded. While referring to Trick Palin. But Jack does not yet know that it is a searcher who has died. He posts five times on March 24th, trying to confirm it was a searcher. Quote, has this been confirmed to be a searcher? Quote, there's no mention of this person being a searcher. Jack's last post, quote, Denver Post confirms they were searchers. Then silence for 13 days.
who on the 24th Forrest posts the scrapbook about Willie is retarded. Then five posts in six hours with Jack trying to confirm that this was a searcher. And then Jack goes silent from the 24th to April 6th. Four days later, Forrest tells Dale he wants to suspend the chase. Later that day, Forrest issues another scrapbook all about safety. So let's summarize from January to March 2020. January 21st, a searcher was saved in Yellowstone yet arrested. Forrest immediately puts out a scrapbook to say that he has not visited Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, which that searcher was searching for the treasure. In February, Forrest posts a scrapbook, Willie, let's go, directing a message to Jack. On March 23rd, Forrest issues a scrapbook about searcher safety and how retarded Willie is. March 24th, Jack posts five times trying to confirm if this was an actual searcher. Late on the 24th, Jack confirms the man who died was a Forrest Fenn searcher. And he goes silent for 13 days. Forrest on March 27th emails Dale to discuss suspending the chase. Then later that day, issues another scrapbook all about searcher safety. See, there's much more to this other half of the story. And it's to be continued for now.